Hi there, this is Andrew Brody with Yokogawa, and today I'd like to take you a quick walkthrough of a demo application that we've done for a gas pipeline. It's not a uh, real application, there is uh, no such pipeline as the TransPen pipeline, but what we're trying to do here is showcase how Yokogawa's Fast Tools SCADA package could be used as a SCADA host for either a new pipeline control system or a replacement project. So let's take a quick look through this application and we'll see some of the technologies and capabilities that Yokogawa can bring to your gas pipeline SCADA host replacement project. So what we're showing here is a top line overview. This is in the typical fast tools layout. Uh, of course it can be customized to your needs, but we've set up this one to be a bit like a browser with backwards, forward buttons, home pages, refresh for displays. Down at the bottom we have an alarm banner as well as who's logged in, time and date. And on the first page here we're kind of showing a summary of where the system is in terms of its totals for receipts and deliveries and line pack, a legend, the line pack status, the gas quality. We can drill down into various areas, see how they're doing. We can see the receipt and the compressor stations. We can drill into specific stations. We can pull up information, kind of like the hourly statistics. Pull up a trend. Of course, this is a uh, demonstration here, so the data may not uh, represent what you might see in the real world. Pull up EFM here. You can drill into your electronic flow measurement device to see gas compositions. as well as something like maybe change how you're doing your calculation. Go ahead and send it down to your electronic flow measurement device. You can go up a level, take a look at maybe a compressor station here. And we've got the compressor stations into various zones here. And then we can go even further here. Can pop back up, take a look at a different area. So something new at this area is a uh, storage station. Go in and see the storage station and once again we can get into the flow meter device for that particular storage station. Go back to the home here. Let's take a look at the displays overview. We can see in the display overview down here we have a legend, so it's very much a lot of the same items, but we're getting a little different detail here. Like we have pig launchers. So there's a pig launcher. Pig receiver. Compressor monitoring display, flow metering display. We can go in on a block valve. Have our alarm overviews. The alarms can be kind of arranged to your preference here. You can also do filters. Do a custom filter. Pick particular time zones. That's current alarms. We also have historical alarms. You can do your scheduling here. You see a little scheduling application here pop up.
go ahead and edit a contract if we needed to. Also have line pack. You can kind of show what it looks like over a certain line period. Down here is the legend kind of showing if it's packing, stable, or drafting. The statistics on it. We can drill into a certain area of the line pack. Once again. See how it's performing. You can go over here to gas composition. You can see the gas composition. All the different plants. Of course, a lot of the data looks uh, similar. It's a uh, demo application. We can go in and edit this if we need to. We can go to a distribution and go ahead and push down the gas composition. EFM management. Once again, we can kind of pick the EFM. Or gas meter, go ahead, do the various changes. Receipts for some of these, they're going to be changeable. So we can go in here, change a set point. So I could go ahead and change it like that. Or sometimes there's a little bit more, you can kind of see. Little more details on what's going on there, a trend. You can go in here, change the set point. You can kind of see that the set point was applied. Process variable. So that's the receipts overview. Same thing for deliveries. You can take a look at storage, see what their status is. A meter summary. RTU monitoring for their health status. And finally, let's take a quick look. Here's the audit trail for some of the changes that have gone on. You can see I've done some gas composition modifications here. So that's a quick rundown on our gas pipeline demo application.